Welcome back to the shed and this is a DVD player, a very shiny and quite dusty DVD player, a VIEW brand DVD player. Yes, it's probably just as good as it looked and I know this cost, when it was new, 10 whole pounds. So that's the quality we're after here. So it's a cheap DVD player um, and it doesn't turn on. So I know there's no video output, there's meant to be a light that comes on the front somewhere along here but there is no light, there is no power, and there is no current consumption. What have we got? We have got a wattage of 2.6, 2.3 watts. So it's drawing something. Yes, it's drawing something, but there's no light. Time to take it apart. One, two, three, four screws to get into this beauty. There's a sticker of the VIEW DVD player. Screws have been removed, but it's clipped on. So you have to prise it up to get it apart. What stupidness. I mean, seriously. Oh, it's open. There we go. That's inside our DVD player. And there's your power supply board. So it's worth having a quick look around here. Because it's probably going to be a power supply issue let's have a look what we got we got ground five volts plus and minus 12 so let's see if indeed we do have ground five volts and plus and minus 12 i'm on the plus 12 volt line eight volts that's not correct minus 12 volt line zero volts definitely not correct five volt line zero volts again incorrecto Looks like we have a power supply problem, dude. Right, if you trace this out, I'm going to be careful picking this up because this could still hold a charge. So the pin on this side is plus 12. If you look over onto the track, so that's this pin. Let me get a, po a pokey thing. This pin here, and that goes up to a device here. This pad here is mine is. Uh, minus 12. If we look at the minus 12 pin that goes around here. These, there's no nothing in these pads. These are just solder blobs. So this isn't actually connected. There's no device going across here. These are diodes here. And with this one here, you can see there's a diode for the track. And the other line, the track goes around here. Diode, diode to the transformer. So that's where we're getting our 12 volt from, even though it's not 12 volt. And there's a cap across here. That's all self-explanatory. This is ground. So we've got ground, cap, diode. So output, diode, doosh, cap. Boop, 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 boom, boom. Simple. These are your ground pins. To ground, 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 ground. Fine. These are your five volt pins. And connect here. That's not populated. And this goes along here to a cap. That's fine. Then goes along to here, which is an inductor. So there's an inductor there, and that's fine. This goes along to a big diode that goes across here to your output pin. So we've got a diode here, which could be the problem. We've also got another ground pin that goes off around to this, which is, I believe, your optocoupler. What's on this side? You've got, you got some resistors there. Resistors there as well. They're all connected to the same. No, they're not connected to the same. Uh, so ground jumps over here, jumps over this side to resistor. Resistor goes there to a transistor, and then it goes over to here to your optocoupler. Okay, so this is some sort of circuit on your five volt rail to the optocoupler, which will regulate the primary side. So if your 5 volt drops, it will boost the primary. If your 5 volt gets too high, it will decrease the primary to maintain the 5 volt logic. So everything is derived from the 5 volts. And as there's no 5 volts, that will mean there's no feedback, which means your 12 volts is also low. So there's something wrong with the 5 volts. Does that make sense? And we said the 5 volts just come straight from the transformer here through this um, big fat diode that's floating in the air, which is this one. And then through an inductor, which is this one. So, diode is probably the most likely thing to go because it's active. 
active componentry. So we'll show quickly measure the diode. Measuring one handed across the diode. That's a good diode. No voltage drop. Suspicious. Let's try the other way around. So other polarity. And no voltage drop. How weird. That's not diode in. Let's try it on resistance. Uh, resistance, resistance, resistance is that one. So this should be, I don't know, go the wrong way around, should be mega ohms. And we're reading. No ohms. That is no longer a diode, but a short. Let's remove it and see what happens. Diode has been removed from the circuit and measured zero ohms and that's in the wrong polarity it is kaput we need new diode uh, what is it obviously it's a diode it's a 1n5822 let's find out what one of them is in the current range see if i've got an equivalent i should have somewhere i happen to have found the exact same diode in my little box so let's whack it in the hole and the new diode is in without the wiggly legs because uh, I can't have to put wiggly legs in. And it's off the board because clearly they put it on the board because it gets really hot because it's under stress and therefore it explodes and won't last that long because it's £10, this whole thing. So there you go. And there's the bottom of it. So I shall stick this back in the cheap DVD player. I'm fairly confident it'll work. So I'm going to screw it in and we'll see the little red light come on, hopefully. Right. Ready for the main power up. Here we go. So power being applied. Now. And we have a red light, green light, woo! Look at that, it works. Why, right, how's the on button work? Which one's the on button? Uh, that's the on button. Is that one? That one. Green light, oh, wiggly wiggly. Uh, eject is uh, the end button, so let's eject. Oh, it works. Right. Sweet. Oh, we're spinning and doing stuff now. Right, cool. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to stick this back together again. And this is another fixed thing. So thank you for watching. And I know it was fairly quick, but hopefully it showed you the methodology of finding the faults. Basically measure voltage and then work yourself back. Whether it's coming or going. But yeah, if that wasn't clear, then uh, watch my other videos and it probably still won't be clear. But for now, see you later. And... Uh, have fun. Bye for now.